The Chinese People's Liberation Army Navy has experienced substantial growth in both the number of vessels and their firepower. This rapid modernization of their naval forces is prominently exemplified by the Type 55 destroyer, an imposing maritime dreadnought. Over the course of two decades, the evolution of surface warships has culminated in what can be described as the pinnacle of destroyer design one explicitly engineered to secure dominance over the seas. This video serves as a comprehensive guide to the capabilities of the Type 55 Super Destroyer. The Type 55 represents a larger iteration of its predecessor, the Type 52D Destroyer. It isn't meant to entirely replace the Type 52D, as China continues the production of both classes. As of now, eight Type 55 destroyers have been launched since 2017, with five of them already commissioned, it is expected that the remaining units will be commissioned in 2022, or at the latest, by early 2023. Evidently China has intentions to expand its fleet with more of these formidable ships. The Type 55 large destroyer is strategically positioned to accompany aircraft carriers as part of Chinese carrier battle groups. In this capacity, it is likely to serve as the primary command and control center for air defense within the battle group. Similar to the Ticonderoga-class cruisers and the U.S. Navy, the Super Destroyer is equipped to relay instructions and provide targeting information to smaller warships, such as the Type 52D Destroyer. Moreover, the Type 55 Super Destroyer likely takes on a pivotal role in naval forces that lack an aircraft carrier which are termed as surface action groups in the U.S. Navy. China's official military strategy underscores the importance of safeguarding its interests in distant seas by deploying large destroyers alongside smaller naval vessels. More recent Chinese sources explicitly connect the Type 55 to the security of the Belt and Road Initiative. Furthermore, in the current era of great power competition, large warships serve as prominent symbols on the global stage, projecting influence worldwide. The presence of the Type 55 Super Destroyer during during international visits, makes a resounding statement to both allies and potential adversaries. In terms of specifications, the Type 55 boasts a full displacement of approximately 13,000 tons, nearly double that of the Type 52D Chinese naval doctrine, has progressively embraced the concept that large warships are the way forward. This shift underscores China's high level of confidence in its mastery of air defense technologies, essential for safeguarding valuable capital ships. The Type 55 is powered by four QC280 gas turbines, granting it a top speed of 32 knots, and it possesses an operational range of 9,300 kilometers. Notably, about 20% of the generated engine power exceeds the operational requirement. This suggests a considerable potential for future enhancements to the ship, particularly as new weapon systems become available. The estimated total complement of around 300 personnel may seem relatively low for a warship of this substantial size, indicating a high level of automation. The Type 55 excels in stealth capabilities against various sensor types, not restricted solely to radars. Its design features a smooth hull and an exceptionally compact superstructure. The presence of deck-mounted weapons is minimal, and those in place, such as the 130mm naval gun, exhibit a stealthy angular exterior. Furthermore, all radars are housed within an integrated mast situated at the center of the ship, effectively minimizing the overall radar cross-section. The long-range radar antennas are concentrated at the rear of the mast to restrict the electromagnetic radiation signature. The ship's four funnels, serving as engine ventilation, are entirely enclosed within the superstructure, and the vessel is equipped with infrared suppression devices. Additionally, measures have been taken to manage engine noise levels effectively. The Type 55 destroyer incorporates advancements in its gas turbine technology, resulting in reduced acoustic emissions compared to earlier versions. This translates to enhanced stealth against passive sonar detection, in essence, the Type 55 destroyer boasts comprehensive stealth capabilities, rendering it less susceptible to detection by radars, passive sonars, electromagnetic sensors, and infrared sensors. While the Type 55 destroyer is versatile and capable of undertaking a wide array of missions, 
It is primarily designed for air defense across all engagement ranges. The ship is equipped with a substantial vertical launch system, VRS, comprising 112 cells, with 64 VRS cells positioned towards the front, and an additional 48 at the rear. The majority of these 112 cells house the HHQ-9B long-range surface-to-air missile, a standard surface-to-air missile utilized on Chinese destroyers. These missiles possess an impressive range of 300 kilometers, a speed of Mach 4, and employ semi-active radar homing guidance, making them highly effective in intercepting supersonic targets. At the 2021 Duhai Air Show, the PLA Navy exhibited the capability to quad-pack certain missiles, which involves loading four surface-to-air missiles into a single VLS cell. This innovation bolsters firepower and extends the potential range of engagement, particularly in scenarios involving medium-range targets. It is highly probable that the Type 55 destroyer is already equipped with medium-range surface-to-air missiles, such as the FC-3000N, loaded in quad packs. This configuration significantly enhances the destroyer's capability to effectively intercept incoming threats that have breached the horizon. By the way, if you've been enjoying the content so far, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. The Type 55 destroyer is adept at simultaneously tracking hundreds of enemy aircraft and cruise missiles, while guiding air defense missiles toward these targets. The primary radar system responsible for long-range aerial surveillance is the Type 346B E-SPAN Active Electronically Scanned Array, representing the latest iteration of a radar family known as Dragon Eye by NATO. Mounted on the superstructure, four panel arrays of the Type 346B radar are strategically positioned, each facing one of the intercardinal directions. These panel arrays are estimated to be approximately 40% larger than their counterparts on the preceding Type 52D destroyer, indicating a significant increase in radar power. This enhanced capability is achieved thanks to the high power output generated by the engines on the Type 55 destroyer. According to U.S. military analysts, the Type 346B radar is believed to possess a pivotal range exceeding 600 kilometers. The actual detection range, naturally, depends on factors such as the target's altitude and size. This radar system is reputed for its robust anti-stealth capabilities, enabling it to effectively track fifth-generation stealth fighters. According to Chinese sources, the Type 346B may even possess the capability to track satellites operating in low orbit. The Type 55 destroyer is equipped to transmit the coordinates of enemy satellites to land-based rocket forces, which can subsequently launch anti-satellite missiles. Low-orbit spy satellites play a critical role in surveilling extensive battlefield regions and providing valuable intelligence in modern warfare. The elimination of enemy satellites represents a significant advantage as it disrupts a key component of the adversary's intelligence infrastructure. Additionally, positioned atop the mast on the Type 55 is a second search radar this time operating in the X-band frequency. This frequency range is better suited for tracking targets at shorter ranges, and likely plays a vital role in intercepting low-flying sea-skimming missiles. The primary anti-ship weapon employed by the Type 55 destroyer is the IG-18 Eagle Strike cruise missile, carried within the VLS. The number of IG-18 missiles can be adjusted to align with specific mission requirements. The IG-18 boasts a subsonic cruising speed, but it accelerates to supersonic speeds as it approaches the target, simultaneously altering its radar signature to reduce the enemy's reaction time and the likelihood of interception. Being a sea-skimming missile, it remains challenging to detect until it is in close proximity to the target. The H-18 has an impressive range exceeding 500 kilometers. Another potential armament for the Type 55 destroyer might be anti-ship ballistic missiles, which are generally faster than cruise missiles, especially during the terminal phase, often reaching hypersonic speeds that make interception extremely difficult. The individual VRS cells on the Type 55 are notably larger than those on US or NATO destroyers, suggesting it may have the capacity to host certain Chinese tactical ballistic missiles. While this hasn't been officially confirmed, both the US Navy and domestic 
like Chinese experts, consider it highly probable that the Type 55 can launch ballistic missiles against surface targets. For shore bombardment, the Type 55 is equipped with the CJ-10 land attack missile. Since the 1990 Persian Gulf War, Chinese strategists have recognized the potential role of destroyers in land attack operations. The Type 55 destroyer could potentially be tasked with counter-battery fire against land-based missile systems, facilitating the safe entry of Chinese naval forces into the Pacific Ocean in case of a conflict. For anti-submarine warfare, its main assets are two helicopters housed in hangars towards the aft of the ship. These helicopters are likely the new Z-20 naval helicopter or the larger Z-18F, depending on the hangar size. Both helicopters are highly capable at hunting submarines, boasting good range and extended flight times. They are equipped with advanced sonars, sono buoys, and torpedoes. The Type 55 destroyer itself is equipped with a comprehensive suite of sonar systems, including a total ray sonar and a variable depth sonar, which provide an extensive detection range against enemy submarines. The destroyer also carries the U-8 anti-submarine missiles to engage enemy submarines from a safe distance. In case an enemy submarine approaches within short range, there are six light torpedoes to engage it. However, the destroyer is a high-priority target for enemy submarines in the South China Sea. So it is advisable to rely on long-range weapons for anti-submarine warfare, including helicopters, and stay beyond the reach of submarine torpedoes. The Type 55 destroyer exhibits significant potential for future upgrades, due to its considerable size and unused engine power. Reports indicate that various advanced weapons are in development and may be incorporated in the future. Western observers suggest that China is researching an electromagnetic railgun, which, if operational, could launch hypersonic projectiles against surface targets at ranges far exceeding those of conventional guns. There is speculation that the PLA Navy might possess this technology as early as 2025. Additionally, ongoing upgrades for the Type 55 destroyer encompass high-energy lasers and anti-ballistic missile interceptors, which are believed to be absent in the PLA Navy's current arsenal. Notably, only the Type 55 destroyer among China's existing surface combatants has the electrical generator capacity necessary to power these advanced weaponry. The introduction of the Type 55 Super Destroyer marks a pivotal moment for the Chinese Navy. After two decades of relentless naval modernization, this warship is widely regarded as one of the most formidable in the world. In the Western world, the Type 55 signifies an escalation in the global naval arms race. It is undeniable that fleets of substantial Chinese warships will increasingly become a common sight on the world's oceans. If you have a keen interest in the evolution of Chinese destroyers, this is a subject worth exploring. The Chinese Type 55 destroyer represents a leap forward in naval warfare capabilities. With its advanced weaponry, stealth features, and potential for future upgrades, it underscores China's commitment to modernizing its naval forces. The introduction of this powerful warship into the global naval landscape signals a new chapter in the evolving dynamics of maritime security and the naval arms race. As we witness the Type 55 and similar vessels increasingly traverse the world's oceans, it becomes clear that the seas are set for a remarkable transformation. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of the Chinese Type 55 destroyer, and be sure to stay tuned for more insightful content on naval developments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for the latest updates and in-depth analysis.